Yeah, but you think that Mary butter wouldn't melt, but she has been a vandal, quite a, a, an ex like yeah. bad listen, vandal. Listen, listen, I got her arrested. This is bad. I actually got her arrested. Um, what it was, I, we were doing. Um, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, I was uh, we were at the Birmingham NEC. We just finished doing a demo, and I was staying onto a, a book signing. Now Mary left, and she walked past my car. I then came which is out. a very posh car. It, yeah, it's a nice car. Yeah. And so she came out, uh, left, as she did. I came out uh, with the security, and he said, "Oh, have you seen what's on your car?" And I went, "What do you mean? What's on my car? Go and look at your car." And on the sill of the window, she'd signed, Love Mary, with a Sharpie. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Well, you can see. Um, the police officer who was with me turned around and said, do you want to arrest her for criminal damage? I went, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said, Can we leave it 12 months, please? So the following year, <laughs> we were at the NEC, uh, and I saw the same police officer, and I said, listen, we're going on stage in a minute. If you'd like to come on and arrest her, I think you'd better bring four lads. She might get a bit feisty. <laughs> so I, I went on stage and I said, and then the police officers came in and they actually handcuffed her and walked, marched her off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I said, give it five minutes and let her back in. She came in with a bag and then smacked me around. Are you getting married? Yeah. Again. But in this country this time? Yes. So I've been married before. Which I am married. Um, <laughs> but I have three children. And we had the Islamic marriage uh, in this country. And then we went out to Bangladesh and had like the ceremony out there. Not because we, we wanted the hot weather or, or the beaches. My father-in-law and my dad decided that they concocted this plan that it'd be cheaper to go out there. Oh, fair, fair enough. I suppose they were paying for it, so... Yeah, that yeah. is sensible. Yeah, but yeah. we had no... I knew nobody. I had no family, just my mum and my dad and my husband, who I'd only seen once. Wow. So it's the second time I'd seen him. So I was like, yeah, he's good looking, but that's a whole lot of lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> he's all right now, I quite like him. That's why... <laughs> that's, 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 that's why I want to get married, because I actually, I'll, I'll actually mean it this time. Like, last time it was a bit like, OK, yay, let's do this. Yeah, but it's interesting because I've read in interviews you talking about the whole idea of arranged marriage, and the more I read you talking about it, the more sort of sensible it seems, because you kind of think the chances are kind of the same. Well, yeah, the... <laughs> <laughs> My wife always says that love at first sight is projection at first sight. It's just that they remind you of someone else you've, you love already, so, like, you're usually you're one of your parents. I mean, there's no such thing as love at first sight. But how would you, how, how could you love someone that I you'd never met before? No, uh, when I met my wife, we shook hands and I swear it was like being hit by lightning. And it still feels like that and it's all those years later. So I'm afraid I disagree. You can write all the psychology books you like, you can't change how you feel when you meet somebody. See, wow. I, I, my husband had lovely long hair and a big ass, and I was like, that's nice, that'll do me. <laughs> Mary Berry, we've been out here for... How long have we been here? About, I don't know, about 30 seconds, probably. So I think it's time. So, uh, Harry, oh, if you want one of those. Lovely, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, down, oh, there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Mary, <laughs> what have you brought us? Mm. <laughs> I have brought you nothing. <laughs> oh, why did I come? I know. Well, I forgot to buy your book. <laughs> I haven't brought you a cake today. Oh. <laughs> bake Off, Bake Off, you know, it, it opened all these doors to you and all yeah. sorts of honours and things, and, uh, but one of the biggest thrills must have been when you got to bake the, the Queen's birthday cake. Yeah. There you are, and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, did you, you didn't talk to the Queen for long, apparently. No. No! Are you, sorry, no, are I you didn't... laughing at what I'm laughing at? <laughs> I'm laughing at that lady mayoress who looks like she's about to have the whole thing. <laughs> Like, the, queen, the Queen will turn back and just go, oh, I don't, oh, sorry, I don't know what came over me. It, it did disappear very quickly, <laughs> so I don't know. It could have happened. Um, no, well, what... Sorry, Lady Mary. If you're watching, Lady Mary, I know you didn't eat the whole thing. <laughs> but you wanted to. It's <laughs> we, um, Prince Philip, I didn't know he was there. And she's the one person that I met that made me the most nervous. In fairness, yes. Like, I just, you never <laughs> like, my dad now introduces me as this is the daughter that made the cake for the Queen. I don't even have a name anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know Prince Philip was there. So he saunters 
around. I'm trying to talk, muffling all my words. And then he comes up and he said, and, and the Queen then introduced me to Prince Philip. I was like, get in! <laughs> you know you made it when she introduces you to somebody else. <laughs> and then she said, this, this is the young lady who, who won the baking competition. And I was at this point, I was cloud nine, and he comes up and goes, yes, dear, I know who she is, but what flavour's the cake? <laughs> I could not care less. Uh, over the course of this series, it uh, discovered uh, a dark secret well, from the Berry history. So well, we had a lot of time to chat. Yeah. We're together, we're, we, we were stuck together, mainly because I also followed Mary home, which is <laughs> weird on occasion. Um, but what, this is what I love most about Mary, is we all feel like we know Mary, we, we, you know, we know she's amazing. And it was week two, they were making a moussaka. Takes time. Mary and I are sitting there in the green room, uh, snuggled under a blanket. Because it was cold, wasn't Always it? Always cold. And the boys didn't like it. No. no. Uh, and we're sitting there, and Mary turns to me and went, here, um, did I tell you about when I was arrested? <laughs> <laughs> to which, I swear to God, I just drop what I'm... I don't just go... What? And, well, it was 20... about 25 20, years ago. 25 years ago, um, I was asked to go to America to do cookery demonstrations. Yes. And, um, I'm very particular at getting everything right. And I also try to look ahead, so I thought I ought to have my recipes, uh, all the ingredients weighed out in case the plane is late or in case the connections aren't you right. You understand I can go straight coming. on stage to do my presentation, a uh, cookery demonstration. Yeah. And so uh, I weighed out each recipe in little bags <laughs> and I had the flour <laughs> and the sugar and everything grouped together so that I could lift it out for the first recipe and so on. <laughs> Cut two. Um, <laughs> it was the sniffer dogs. This was my favourite bit. <laughs> and when we, when we arrived, there were uh, dogs, and I love dogs, and I was, you know, just ready to go and so on. <laughs> and they all, uh, three of them came up with their noses sort of like this, and they were, you know, I thought, oh, come along. But they didn't want to know me. They just began, and then suddenly the airport became empty, and there were just uniformed people. And I was with Lucy Young, her, uh, my assistant. They parted us, uh, Lucy there, me there, into two cells. Mary Berry in a cell with a selection of packets containing white powder. <laughs> <laughs> and, you see, um, I didn't know whether their all-purpose flour was, um, you know, the same as our flour. Of That's course. why I've taken it. Yes. This is why I love that. Yes. Because, <laughs> see, what, this is why Mary's made it, because she wanted to make the, the greatest cakes possible, so I had it already. And is it true? This is my fate. I was just incredulous. They were like, we need you back on set. I was like, somebody else is going to have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you need... And didn't he turn to you and say, ma'am, uh, are, you, are you expecting to make some money from these white packets? And you said... Oh, uh, uh, I do, and... Uh, <laughs> my, fee... <laughs> my fee has already been agreed. 